Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae's Way here today. In today, we are finally going to be doing a update on my hair growth. Recently cut my hair back in April for those of you ha who haven't been keeping up on my channel. I actually cut my hair in 2022 and then again I did a, another cut by an actual professional hairstylist and that was back in April and needless to say in that video I'm not going to give away like any spoilers because if you want to see kind of like the video, then I'll have it up here somewhere. In that video, that hairstylist did cut my hair. He cut quite a bit. Some of you even said in the comment section that he cut way too much off. And I wanted to do an update because I have already seen growth. As you guys can see here, it's like extremely visible, the growth that I've already received. But here is my hair before when I got it cut two months ago. And here is my hair now uh, where you're actually able to like see kind of like the growth. I have it in a braid out and I put it in four braids yesterday and I just put some rollers on the ends of, ends of my hair. So I wanted to go into the details of things that I've been doing. And this could possibly help someone who doesn't have a carriage to get their hair cut because they're like, oh my God, it's never gonna grow back. Hopefully these tips will help you get to that point A to B really quickly. Also, hopefully it's going to be a helpful video for those of you who are having stunning hair growth or you feel like that your hair growth has just kind of stayed at one length. Of course, these are just gonna be my tips. There's so many different ways to grow your hair, retain your hair length, first and things, things like first. I want to point out the fact, hopefully you guys do not click out of the video when you hear this, but this is just honest, true facts of what I did. So, I wanna point out the fact that having a healthy diet really did speed up the process of my hair growing. I know that a lot of you who have been on my channel for a while are probably like, okay, Shantae, you've always had a healthy, you know, diet, so could have probably figured that out. But through towards the end of 2022, uh, like from September all the way until November, I feel like that my diet wasn't the best. Like it was still pretty healthy. And of course I was sticking to my core, my core values, but my diet was not the best. And I feel like during that time is when I hated my hair the most. Um, so, and you know, having a bad diet doesn't immediately affect your hair, but I just didn't feel as vibrant when I was in that time frame where I wasn't like really putting a lot of focus on my diet because I had so many things going on during that time. Well, going into this year, I say from January of 2023 till now, I have been a lot more fo focused on my, on my health. I've gotten back into the original things that I've done for so long on YouTube. If you follow me on my Instagram, you will see this a lot more. It just reestablished the fact that eating healthy is so important to the way that you look and feel. And during the week, I'm always focused on eating healthy, uh, vitamin packed food, but that has been a game changer for me. Secondly, I did start to do like a proper hair care routine. So you guys, if you have been watching those videos that I post on my channel, which if you haven't girl, you have to go back and look at those videos that I posted on my channel where I took you guys through the journey of everything that I had to go back and just redo again because a lot of the habits that I had before I stopped, I got very lazy and I wasn't doing them as much anymore. Well, I have gone back to doing my routines very consistent and it has paid off so much. For example, I have gone back to doing deep conditioning routines every week. I have also gone back to oiling my hair every week and oh my gosh, I get so excited when I say this because for the longest, you know that my hair was so long. It was to, it was tailbone length. I don't know if it's class, I, don't, I get the mix up, I don't know the lens, <laughs> but it was, past my butt, because my hair was so long, I wouldn't do my oil treatments as much. I wouldn't do them every week like I did when I first started to make my growth oil. Um, whereas when I cut my hair, I'm like, okay, the time that I first cut my hair into the second time that I cut my hair, I started to use my growth oil weekly during that duration. And I really did see a big, big shift in my hair. I've seen someone comment on my 
older video where I talked about three oils or whatever that have helped my hair. I seen someone comment and say that it's amazing because they've seen my growth oil work time and time again on my hair. Like I think she mentioned that there's been like different occasions where I've had to tell you guys like, oh, like I'm trying to grow my hair back out and every time the growth oil has worked. So yeah, the growth oil is like definitely amazing and it's not just something that i just say that works and it doesn't it actually does work um and you can kind of like tell that it works because there's so many reviews on the website saying that it worked for them as well like over 100 reviews on that one product that was one game changer switching back to using my hair my hair growth oil on a weekly basis versus when i was doing it very sporadically i've been doing oil treatments on my hair every single week sometimes i do them three times a week i was gonna say two times but it's definitely been like more like three times a week and i'll do them once in the morning and then i'll re-oil my hair at night as well and oh my gosh it has done so well being more focused on my hair and giving it the time and the care that it needs has really made a difference. When I first got my hair cut, just to let you guys know, um, it came down to about right here while it was curly. And I, when I would like pull my hair down, it would like stop right here. That's what, like right at my chest area when I first got it cut. Now, my hair is down here. Hair is down here now. Isn't that freaking crazy like that's massive growth in that little bit of time that with the hair care routines that i've been doing i've been really focused on proper cleansing um at first i was not as focused on cleansing now i'm more focused on cleansing since the hair stylist did tell me that that's a huge part of the hair care you have to focus more on cleansing especially as a natural because you don't want your hair to be over moisturized where you have a lot of buildup and a lot of your routines and things are not really getting to your hair because you're not properly cleaning it so I have been really focused on during my routines on cleansing my hair and making sure that I properly cleanse it so that my techniques and things like that are not done for no reason. And it has made a huge difference in the way that my hair looks and the way that it feels as well. It feels a lot more manageable because it's cleaner and my products are taking way better because my hair has a clean slate every week. Or I've been using the Heavenly Cloud Soft Moisture Boosting Serum a lot, like a lot on my hair. And even my daughter has been using that serum a lot. So we really like that serum. That is like a really jam-packed formula that has so many vitamins and nutrients. Like it is a really good formula. And so I've been using that on my hair a lot in addition to, of course, the leave-in conditioner that I have. But the Boosting Serum, I have been using that so much. Like that is my favorite product, um, one of my favorite products. So I have been using that on my hair as well. And I swear, like it gives such a huge difference. It really does make a difference because my hair feels so soft. It feels so just healthy. And I, I don't know, I just like it so much. I didn't think that the Boosting Serum was going to be like a huge contributor to my hair growth journey. Because of course, in this video, I'm focused on products that are part of my hair growth journey. And I feel like that this Heavenly Cloud Soft Moisture Serum has really been a huge part of my hair growth journey. Um, before I end this video, I wanted to quickly, you know, touch on the topic of vitamins because a lot of people do ask me like, oh, do you take vitamins? What hair growth vitamins are you taking? You know, a lot of people just want to know about vitamins because they feel as though if they can find a vitamin, it's a magical pill that they can take that's going to help their hair grow. So... I'll quickly say my thoughts on that. So I know that with the vitamins in general, it's a huge topic. It has been a huge topic for so many years. I feel like that is essential that you are conscious about what you are consuming when you go to look for hair, hair vitamins. So hair vitamins in general, there are some really good brands that you know can be used but also i want to shed light on the brands that are not so good because i don't want people to think oh if i just go out and get a vitamin then that's a hair growth vitamin then i'll be fine which is what typically a lot of people typically think you have to make sure that you research and look at the the ingredients in that in that particular vitamin because there are some vitamins that may contain like toxic ingredients such as artificial dyes un unnecessary flavoring and lab grown super vitamins that may actually counterproductive
you can't just use anything. They even have like vitamin mixes, which I absolutely love, but they are also vitamin mixes that don't have other ingredients that are toxic. So that's my thoughts on hair growth vitamins. Um, like I said, I'm not against hair growth vitamins. I think that they are great to, to add to your hair care routine amongst other things that you're gonna be doing as well. I have a couple of videos right here where I talk about vitamins and the vitamins that I personally use and things like that. So if you want to click on any of those videos, I'll have them linked here or down in the description box as well as with all of the products and things that I mentioned today and I also take a probiotic as well I don't have the probiotic that I take here in this video but I also take probiotics as well which in turn can also help with the gut your gut has a huge a huge part in how your hair is so a lot of people don't know that as, as well and then actual herbs like I'll make herbal teas and things like that so herbal teas is mainly what I feel has really like helped and impacted my hair growth journey as well I absolutely love herbal teas so again if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on this section then make sure that you like this video or comment down below and I'm more than happy to do a video like that for you other than that I think that just keeping my hands out of my hair and not not really uh, doing like tight styles and things like that has really contributed to my hair growth as well so yeah incorporating the healthy diet doing the proper hair care routine and incorporating healthy vitamins has really contributed to the short amount of time it took to actually grow my hair I knew that it would grow back quickly but man this this was quick so let me know your thoughts in the comment section hopefully this video was helpful for you if it was then please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.